Now, set in the mountains of Western Canada, Banff National Park sees nearly 4 million visitors each year as part of Canada's 150th anniversary celebrations. Now, the entrance to all national parks will be free, and authorities expect a major influx of tourists, which many worry could actually end up harming the environment in the long run. At Banff National Park, peak season has yet to begin, but tourists are already flocking to the Western Canadian region. Reservations at the campsite have doubled from last year, and for good reason. Admission to all national parks is free this year, in honor of Canada's 150th birthday. But the stark increase in the number of visitors brings a number of worries. Yeah, we've seen elk and bears um, as well up here, and some of the people don't seem to be that educated. They get out of their cars and go near the bears, which is kind of crazy. Visitor safety and wildlife protection aren't the only issues being raised by the influx of tourists. Environmental activists also cite damaged vegetation, pollution and traffic congestion. By law, um, the Parks Canada Agency, which is the government agency tasked to take care of these places, actually has to put nature first, and they haven't been. Too many people, too fast, without conservation being the priority, it's a real risk for these parks. A former mining hotbed, Banff's picturesque lakes and mountains are now a worldwide travel destination. Over the course of just a few decades, the mountainous region has been transformed to accommodate the ever-increasing number of tourists. In the scientific community, the debate between nature conservation and commercial development has intensified in recent years. There is a demand for people increasingly, which is probably good, because the more people who want to come out and see natural areas, the more likely you're able to preserve more natural areas. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. You have to think carefully about your development and make everyone aware of what the consequences are one way or the other. Canada's protected area tourism generates roughly $1.5 billion annually. But last year, twice as much was spent on tourism than on conservation efforts.